So just get that all the way. <coughs> cool. All right, guys, we've got uh, Cody Haddon here today. So I'll get Cody just get to tell us a little bit about what you do with yourself in terms of in terms of for work, your day to day training, and that sort of stuff. Um, so I'm a professional MMA fighter. Uh, I'm fighting out of Louis Stroke Combat Academy. I do a bit of CrossFit and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so. Okay, cool. So in terms of obviously your, because you're professional, you're putting all in, all into doing that all the day. So, and you're doing a combination of boxing, jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, CrossFit. So you're smashing your body. Yeah. Um, and probably training up to two. Two times a day, yeah. yeah. Two to three, two, depending. Two in day. camp, three times. Right now I'm not in camp, but yeah. most, Right now, two, two to one, um, but yeah, in camp, three, three okay. times a day. Right. So in terms of, and what are your, so you, in, when did you start training martial arts? I started training martial arts when I was six years old, yeah. so I've been hammering it for a while. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I started with Taekwondo, and then when I hit about nine years old, I went down to the boxing gym, and I had a career in amateur boxing until I turned about... Uh, 18 and uh, then from there at the same time amongst all of that I also started learning jiu-jitsu yeah, so yeah, yeah. I was doing so much and then playing footy on the weekends as well yeah. I was just training uh, so much for a young kid um, yeah. yeah so I had a couple Muay Thai fights as well when I was around 12 and stuff yeah. like that and I pretty much um, my last big competition um, in jiu-jitsu I went away to the Worlds <coughs> in 2017 mm -hmm. and when I got back then I decided I was I was 19 years old and the cage had just uh, the cage ban had been lifted mm -hmm. here in um, yeah, WA yeah. Yeah. yeah so I wanted to like start my MMA career um, just I didn't want to do it in a ring I wanted to do it properly so yeah. my whole life I've been training in all the individual aspects yeah. just so that one day when I am able and old enough can and doing. can start doing the yeah. MMA and since then I've been competing in MMA so I had five amateur fights in mixed yeah. martial arts and now I've gone professional and I've had three professional yeah, fights. Three professional. And where are you looking to take it? Uh, oh, I want to get to the UFC, everyone's yeah. goal. Yeah. We'll talk to anyone. But yeah. now there's a lot of opportunities like One FC and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And there's a lot going on. In so, Asia. Yeah, yeah exactly. Asia. There's a big, yeah. big, big, big uh, promotion over there. So right, cool. yeah, anyway, like that. Good. And um, yeah, so in terms of like with your body as well, obviously you get pretty bashed up with things. So tell us about what, some of the things you're dealing with at the moment or working through or some of the problems that you're having. Um, so my, I've always been a big runner, you know, boxing, you have to run a lot. So <laughs> I've always had bad, uh, tight hip flexors, which has always pulled on my lower back. And I get this, a bit of a posterior pelvic tilt, or anterior. the anterior pelvic anterior. tilt, yeah. sorry. Um, yeah, which then obviously gives me lower back pain. So that's always been an issue. Um, and actually right now I'm injured. I've torn a slight tear in my ACL, so I've been out of training. Mm. But um, yeah, obviously still doing all the things in the gym that I can to stay fit. Yeah. Still doing a bit of CrossFit because I'm good to go. But um, yeah, just have to avoid the grappling and everything like that right sure. now. Obviously the twisting motions is what aggravates the knee. Mm. Um, but yeah, I've always dealt with lower back issues just due to having that like uh, anterior pelvic tilt from mm. lots of running and tight hip flexors. Sure, and obviously starting so young. Yeah, so, yeah. Well. and not only that, I forgot to mention, but my neck as well, like the neck is the biggest one. With Jiu Jitsu getting mm. your, your, or even wrestling, you're getting a lot of pressure put on your neck all yeah. the time, even, um, yeah, whether you're being choked or going for a takedown, you land a bit funny, and even now it's gotten worse with MMA, shooting up against the fence or the wall and sometimes you hit it and it jacks up your neck really bad as Perfect. well so that's even worse now mm. uh, than it was previously yeah. so yeah a lot of pressure there all right so definitely top to bottom a few areas <laughs> yeah. yeah so what we'll do now i'll run a few tests with you to sort of see what's going on yeah integrate some adjustments and we'll go from there okay yep so we'll start off we'll get you standing here facing towards that way so we'll just have a look at your, at your posture through there yeah you definitely got quite a yeah. Close just there going in here around your upper mid thoracic there, just pushing your head forward quite a bit, and you got a lot of internal rotation going on within your pecs. It's from from the boxing the shoulders forward. Yeah, you definitely do have a bit of anterior tilt sort of going on through your, your lower back here, increasing that wall doses. Yeah, so we get you to just rotate towards the left. Yeah, it's a bit limited that way. Yeah that's, yeah, that's what I feel. It feels like it's going to crack already. Okay, and to the right all the way. Better on that side. Yeah, a lot better. Yeah, okay. So we'll get you bending over and touching your toes. Yeah, and coming back all the way. Extend back. Any pain on those motions? Um, yeah, when I go back, just a lower back. back a little okay. bit. Yeah. All right. 
rotate through. It's a bit stuck that way for sure. Yeah. And rotate that way. Yeah, both rotations pretty poor in both those. Okay, so yeah, definitely you look like your extension in your lower back and rotation is pretty, pretty poor. So flexion wasn't too bad. So what I'll do, I'll get you sitting on this table and facing towards me. Alright, so what we're doing, we'll just get your arm going up and down like that. The left one? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And down. And up. And down. And up. Yeah, definitely haven't got too much smoothness sort of going yeah, like that. Yeah, I feel it's, that. Is there any pain when you're doing that? No, it just feels restricted. It does, this yeah, is yeah. at the point I feel all of this, like my trap and yeah. that there is like it's solid. Gap, and this gap is just not engaging properly. Yeah. Do your right side. This side's yeah. much better. Well, it is much better. Yeah, and go again. And go your left one again. Yeah, you I think you engage your trap a lot. Like yeah, on that left side. yeah. From the boxing, because your left hand on like left leg in front, like I'm obviously orthodox, so yeah. that um, I think that gets jacked up. Yeah. Right in there as well. Yeah. In there as well. Okay. Right, mate. What we'll do? I'll we'll get you in your tummy for me. We we'll go face down. <coughs> So what do I get you looking to the left? Oh, look yeah. that way. And just with this right ear touching right shoulder. So go? Yep. Yeah, good. And face down. Okay. Right in there as well. Yep. Like this. And right in this rib on this upper left side. Okay. So I'll just do some work to one of your rotators here. This one normally sucks, oh. sucks a fair bit. Pretty bad, man. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh. Nasty that one. Okay. Yeah, and just a little bit rotate my pelvis. <laughs> and right down the base there. Okay, so I'll get your right leg and up. Hold that there. Yeah. I'm gonna push down there, okay? Resist. Yeah. Go again. Go again. And up. Resist. Yeah. That's not good. Left one, left one up. Hold that there. Resist. Yeah. So obviously you failed through your glute test there. Yeah. So it's just telling me there's poor activation going on in this lower lower lumbar area. Yeah. Okay, I'll just see your hamstring. So hold that. Resist. That's alright. Resist. Okay. Let's do some releases there, so I'll suck a bit. Right leg straight, raising it up. And down. And up. And down. And down. And up. And down. And up. And down. Okay. Alright, breathe in. And out. Turn your side, uh, facing out, so this way, this way. Okay, so we'll still release on your glute before you get low back, right? Oh, so that was the worst. Here we go. Ah, uh, fuck. Like pressure for a while. <laughs> fuck, I haven't been in in ages. Ugh. With this, just get your legs loose, all right? Don't like yeah. hook them in. So I'm just gonna go like this and then go down, okay? Yep. So just get that all the way. <laughs> Still feel it now. Yeah. <laughs> it takes a while. Fuck, do yeah. <laughs> right. How's that? Yeah, it's good. It's good. I haven't had that done in a while, eh? Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, it's been a long time. Jesus. Yeah. And even Definitely if... needed it, eh? Yeah. The that first time... different. Yeah. The first time you get done is pretty big, but yeah. it has been a while, a lot of time yeah. for accumulation to build back up. 100%. Yeah. That left ear. That's what happens when the lower back's not functioning right. You just get poor activation coming through this area, yeah. which you had on both sides. Yeah. Um, but at least after that adjustment clears the pathway, so you actually have the right communication. Yeah. Actually, saying that, now I think of it, I've been getting a few um, like headaches lately, and maybe that is to do with my neck. But absolutely. Yeah. As I was driving on the way here, I had a bit yeah. of a headache. Um, but now I'm feeling a lot better yeah. around the head. Yeah. Cool. All right, we'll get you sitting up for me, thanks, mate. Okay, and facing the wall that way. Okay, so for this one, we're going to be going like just like an overhead press, okay? Yeah. So we're going to be doing that. Both arms. Just, just on the left. And up. This one's no mercy. And oh. down. And down. And up. 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 And down. And now I'm just doing the left one, but just doing overhead press, so do the same. Yep. And down. Oh. And up. And down. Oh, and that's down. not too bad. At the bottom, it's probably worse. Pussy. <laughs> 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 and down. That's lightweight. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's lightweight. That's light, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you just have to do all that. Okay. Alright, so I'll get your arm up like this. So behind your shoulder. Oh, yeah. Okay. This one. I like this one. This one. This one. 
bit more gentle. Yeah. You know what that dude actually. <laughs> Get that arms again to do what we did at the beginning. Yeah. So left one, and down, and up, smoother. Yeah, a lot yeah. freer. I don't right feel side. as much tension through that. Yeah, and right side's pretty good anyway. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. Oh, beautiful, good. So I'll get you standing up now. So it's clear, uh, standing here facing this way again. Alrighty. All right, so just bending over and touching your toes. How's that feel? Oh, I love that. Uh, yeah. You know, touching the floor. Bit smoother, yeah, and coming back, extending back. How's that feel? Heaps better. Yeah. Not n nowhere near as much yeah. tension as before. And rotate all the way. A bit more, yeah. And rotate all the way. Cool. All right, fantastic. Yeah. All good. Yeah. Fantastic. That's it. That's all good. <laughs> Here we go. All right, beautiful. Sweet. Awesome. Sweet.